there guys, it's Shiny Charizard Gaming here with another Pixelmon 3.0 tutorial. The first wasn't actually a tutorial, but it was a showcase, so let's move on. Um, for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make these beauties here, the cloning machine, and how to use them. So, what you're going to want to start off with is the fossil machine, because it's required to make it. So, to start off the fossil machine, you need to make the fossil machine base. So, to make the fossil machine base, you need... Six aluminum plates, three in the middle row, three on the bottom row. Grab that out of your chat, uh, uh, crafting table. Gosh, I can't talk. Um, for the then you're gonna need to make the um, fossil machine tank. So for that you're gonna need three water buckets and six glass panes. So to do the crafting recipe, the glass panes on the edges, and the water buckets right down the center. So let's take that and we get the fossil machine tank and put the base on top. Okay, next what you're going to want to do is make the fossil machine top. So to make it, you're going to need one redstone and five aluminum plates. That's how to make it. So let's do it real quick. Boom and boom. Oh, never mind. It has to be exactly how it's on that recipe. I'm sorry. So take that there, put that there, and there we go top put the base down here okay next what you're gonna want to do is make this I can't remember the name off the top of my head I'm so sorry but you need one obsidian and four redstone so put that around the the redstone around the obsidian and you get the fossil machine display once you get all that this is the exact craft room recipe you have to follow to get the fossil machine the fossil machine top is on the top, the machine tank is in the middle, the machine base is on the bottom, and these all go through the middle row, then you put the fossil machine display to the right of them, and you get the fossil machine. So, now what you're going to want to do is actually craft the green and um, orange tanks. So to craft the green tank, you're going to need three aluminum plates, one fossil machine, two emeralds, and three obsidian. What you're going to want to do is take the obsidian, put them on the bottom row, like that, okay. Then you're going to take the emeralds, put them right here and right here. Take the aluminum plates on the top row, then take a fossil machine and put it there. You get the green tank, put the green tank right here. Then what you're going to want to make is the orange tank. For the orange tank, you're going to need to go and make another um, fossil machine to be able to make it. So for it, again, you're going to need three obsidian, two gold, a one fossil machine and three aluminum plates. So same way, just changing the emeralds to gold. So put that there, put that there, put those two there, and you get the orange tank. Now what you're gonna want to do is make the cord, the um, cloning machine cord. So to do that, you're gonna need six obsidian and three redstone. So take the redstone, put it down the middle row, take the obsidian, put it on the top row and the bottom row, and you'll get the cloner cord. Then what you're going to want to do is put them in this exact order. Well, it doesn't matter if you put the green tank on the left or the right, but what you want to do, middle row, put the green tank on, put the cloner cord in, then put the orange tank in, and you get the cloning machine. Now for the cloning machine over here, what you're going to like notice is that it says insert Mew. So I've got a Mew in my party. So let's toss in our Mew. It scans. Let's get a Master Ball real quick. 64 of them. And put them in our inventory. So it scans our Mew. Then it says insert catalyst. And these are the catalysts. The block of gold, block, uh, block of iron, block of gold, and block of diamonds. So I guess let's start off with the block of gold. So let's put three in and let's see what happens. Um, the block of gold is one of the weakest catalysts. So three of them you put in, the chances of getting the all and powerful Mewtwo are very low. If you get it, you're super duper lucky. But let's see here. We're probably going to get a ditto, which means we failed. Yes, we did get a ditto. So let's wait for that to grow up. And fight it here oh our whoa it's 48 so let's toss a master ball at it to catch this thing because I have n no feeling to fight it so it's on our new okay okay so while we wait for it to get caught you capture ditto 
So that was a fail, so let's try our Mew again. And this time try three different catalysts. Let's try our Iron Catalyst, which is the second one up from the gold. I'm not saying it's just not as weak, but not as good. It's a 50-50 shot of getting um, a Mewtwo. So let's see here. What does our luck bring us? It's a... It's a ditto once more. So we failed again. So it's still processing it. Uh, once it's finished processing, there we go. Let's go back and master ball, master ball once again. Catch this thing again. Second ditto, second failure. Hopefully the third one with the diamond catalyst. The diamond catalyst is the most powerful powerful catalyst, so the chances are a lot higher of us getting a Mewtwo. So let's toss our Mew in here again. We have our diamond catalyst, and let's toss in three. And let's see here. What do we get? What do we get? I wonder. Please don't be a ditto, because it's like a 80-20 chance, I think. So let's see. What do we get? What do we get? It's going to be a... Uh, it's a uh, Mewtwo. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Let it process, and then it will come out, I think. Let's see. Oh, there it is. And, of course, Mewtwo doesn't like being trapped in this thing, so it decides to destroy it, and it says, Error. Those go red. Everything is destroyed. No. So, go. Go, Master Ball. Whoosh. Catch our Mewtwo. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Mm, yes, come on. Ooh, 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 and, and it's a success. We capture Mewtwo. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It ends off you with this, so once you destroy it, you will not get it back. There's also something I noticed that if you break this, you will get it back, so that's weird. But thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Hope it helped. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye.